Hello and welcome to this week's news, including drop rate increases and something interesting coming from the game's cache. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. For more RuneScape guides, content, and news, be sure to subscribe. Thanks to a player by the name of Rubik who happens to grab things from the game's cache, we know that Jagex is going to be selling literal direct XP boost packs somewhere in the near future. These packs will consist of membership, oddments, hero return prize boxes, and complete days of 50% bonus XP. There will also be a free pack. I've been given a little bit of context and these packs are supposed to be a one-time only purchase to help returning players get up to speed and reach those bigger goals more quickly, much like Fresh Start Worlds. For that reason, they will only be limited to players that have not logged in for a considerable amount of time. And once a player does log in, a returning player that is, they will only have 14 days to buy a pack before they disappear. While this is the first time Jagex is selling XP boosts for complete days, I don't think this is too crazy crazy yet if you compare this to the boost players had on Fresh Start Worlds, for example, for just making a new account. Let's just hope that this doesn't end up with Jagex selling literal double XP days to everyone in the future. Be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. As part of today's update, RuneScape Mobile sees a new lobby feature, which the desktop version of RuneScape has had for quite a while. In this lobby, you'll be able to PM your friends, join friends chats, and talk in your clan chat. You should start saving up your oddments and keys, as on January the 19th, the Academy of Heroes, aka the PVM Church Hunter promotion, is returning to the game, and this time it will add three new ability overrides being Chaotic Berserk, Chaotic Hurricane, which I like a lot, and another recolor of Sunshine, this time being a blue version with the Azura Sunshine override, which will fit nicely with the Azura Dragon Breath override. Blue ability overrides look absolutely fantastic with magic, I just know for a fact I won't be getting these abilities because they're so rare and so expensive, but I will be using my 10 daily keys from the Ultimate Store, and if I don't get anything, at least I'll be getting some aura refreshes, which is always nice. And apparently, as part of today's update, Update, Jagex graphically updated the Berserk ability, so the regular one for all players, which looks like this. Perhaps this means that Jagex is going to be graphically overhauling some of the base abilities in the future as well. At least I'd hope so. There have been a couple patches related to death cost, being the Phoenix Necklace no longer resetting the cooldown and effect of the Ring of Death. The Ring of Death passive no longer prevents you from looting boss corpses and chests after the fight. Not sure where this happened, but that must have been very annoying, especially if you were using the Raptor buff. Buying items on the Grand Exchange should be less confusing now as you no longer see how much the seller is receiving after the tax. Hardcore Iron Man should now keep their protected items when losing one of their lives. The regular quest point cape now has that access to the same teleports as the Master Quest Cape. They also seem to have updated and added a lot of new achievements to the achievement list and requirements for the Master Quest Cape, listed on screen. Next, Angel of Death chest drop rates have been increased significantly from a 1 in 5,000 down to a 1 in 1,024 per chest, and these chests will now drop in order. This change will hopefully mean that some players don't need to slave away for 20,000 kills to get their last chest for the log. The Birth of the Last Guardian's auto attack damage is now correctly counted calculated as previously it was doing a little bit too much damage apparently and that's just the auto attacks guys so it won't make a difference from most of you out there you no longer get stuck after being teleported by legio quarters all graphic settings now have a tooltip explaining what the options do. Very nice, Jagex. Always great to see more tooltips. Combined catalyst fragments can now be used to cure diseased herbs in herbal habitat. Compost can now be applied to any growing patch. The untradeable halo returning, flame gloves, and all of speak ailments can now be keepsake. Tomorrow, on January the 17th, nearly 45 different worlds will be offline for some major maintenance, which will take approximately 5 hours, starting at 1100 hours game time. With that being said, we've come to the end of this news video. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting, be sure to drop a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.